Hi. So, the other day, I went to Walmart and I bought a Happy Halloween Scooby Doo. And I um, did a opening of the uh, DVD box of my Happy Halloween Scooby Doo. And then I told y'all that I would either this weekend or um, in the beginning of next week, when I got a chance, I would uh, sit down, watch the movie. And then come back and do a movie review of Happy Halloween Scooby Doo. So, um, today I got a chance to sit down and watch the movie. And now I am reviewing uh, Happy Halloween Scooby Doo. Okay? Um, so, uh, there are going to be some spoilers. I'm going to let y'all know that, so if you haven't um, got the chance to, uh, to go out and buy this, buy this movie or check the movie out, I'm going to let you know ahead before I get into the movie review, uh, they're going to be spoilers. Cause I feel that I don't need to make a separate video for spoilers. Okay, because they're not, a, in my opinion, a big, but, a big blockbuster movie. Where I need to do a separate video, separate spoiler. Okay. Um, so, um, I will just talk about a little bit about the movie. Okay, you know, you know, do spoilers and stuff like that in this video. And I'm reviewing the movie. Okay. Um, um, now, um, Happy Halloween Scooby Doo um, is marketed as um, the very first Halloween movie. The very first Scooby Doo Halloween movie. Okay? But technically, Happy Halloween Scooby Doo movie, like I say, marketed as the very first Scooby Doo Halloween movie, but technically, it's not. The very first uh, ha Halloween Scooby Doo movie, cause uh, they had um, Scooby Doo and the Goblin King, and Scooby Doo and Kiss Rock and Roll Mystery, and those two are um, Halloween Scooby Doo movie. Okay. Um, now, um, in this movie, Happy Halloween, Scooby Doo, is 80 minutes. So very short. The 80 minutes is roughly an hour and 20 minutes. Okay, not that long. Um, the guy that did the voice for, um, the guy that did the voice for, um, Shaggy. And the, and the two live action um, Scooby Doo movie, he came back to do um, to, to do um, Shaggy and Happy Halloween Scooby Doo. Uh, to be honest, I wasn't a big fan, and I didn't like the live action uh, Scooby Doo movie, but. Every time that that um, Matthew Lillard does the voice of Chaggy and the Fake the DVD um, Scooby Doo movie, I thought he he did a fine job. Okay, um, but that's my opinion. Um, and the awesome, fantastic uh, Frank Welker. Uh, he back in it once again, and the voice for Fred and Scooby Doo. Okay. Um. Now, um. So um, basically, the movie uh takes place during Halloween night, and is victimized by Jonathan Crane, the Scarecrow. So they um, they make reference to 
Batman, you know, Batman villain, Darkrow, and, uh, you know, they already had a, uh, a, a Scooby-Doo movie with Batman, you know, Batman the Brave and the, and the Bold, and, um, and then you got a character named Bill Nye, and, um, so, um, um, and, in the in in the movie, uh, Jonathan Crane gets arrested, and um, you know he's a scarecrow, and, and and at the beginning of the movie, and um, and um, the gang, uh, um. Thought they they stayed the town during Halloween night, but then um, Shaggy and Stu go to the cemetery and they see a bunch of these pumpkins coming alive, and they see the one drone, and they start telling people, and nobody believe them, not even Velma. So the movie is about um, the pumpkin coming alive. Doing the parade, okay? Um, they get um, a new mystery machine with all the like electronic gadget and um, Fred don't like it. Okay, you know he wants he wants the old mystery machine back. Uh, you know it, it, it had an accident, but he thinks. He could save it. Um, um, there's one thing where um, Shaggy and Scooby, you know, court did this is going to happen. Then the movie about Halloween, the court, they couldn't make a Halloween, a Scooby Doo Halloween movie about Scooby and Shaggy go trick or treating. They didn't have a costume, um, uh, so they they just chew up candy and and then make it sticky and then put them on the shelf. To me, I thought they could have done better. I thought they could have uh, you know come up come up with something better. Uh, I thought that was weak. Um, and, and, when, and when you watch this movie, you know what I'm talking about. When they uh, Shaggy, Shaggy and Scooby go trick or treating, and they need a costume, so they they uh, they um, chew up candy, and spit on themselves, and they're like, you know, so you so you see what I, you know what I'm talking about when you watch this movie. And um, so throughout the movie, they got uh, fight. Um, Pumpkin and um, during the parade um, and and most of the um, straight to DVD Scooby Doo movie have a uh, you know you know a twist ending uh, a man behind a man I would got away with it running for the Melon Kid just like the TV show. And, um, a lot of Easter eggs, you know, I don't, I don't know if you would call them Easter eggs or, or, um, you know, reference to other things, like I said, a Batman reference, you know, uh, the Scarecrow, uh, um, they do, they kept saying, uh, use the app. Uh, they get a new uh, mystery machine with electronics and stuff in it, gadget, and uh, Fred didn't like it. He wants the, the original mystery machine back, and the movie ends with Fred don't get the mystery machine back. And I'm like, that kind of sad. But you have to, you have to watch. Uh, throughout the uh, credit and 
like this them the thing in the credit where it, like in black and white and it showed them working on the um, the mixing machine, the original one, they're trying to put it back together and with Shaggy and um Scooby Doo or holding them apart like the door or the tire. They imagine food like Shaggy and holding like 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 one of the door of uh, the mixing machine and it like a, like a sandwich. Uh uh Scooby Doo is holding a tire and like turning into a donut. Of course, that gonna happen because that, that uh, it wouldn't be shag, it wouldn't be shagging to be there. And they, they, they paint the mystery machine and all this stuff. It's a black and white thing. And at the end, the very end credit theme, uh, Fred said, It's the line! Kind of like, you know, that famous thing and, uh, uh, you know, a Frankenstein, and he, uh, he had he listened to it, and put that thing on the and listened to the heart of the of the mystery machine. Um. Um. So Jonathan Crane didn't do it because he 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 was captured at the beginning of the movie and. Um, and you know, Scarecrow, um, so, it turned out, the pumpkin was robot, and, um, the main reveal was who was behind the pumpkin, the pumpkin robot, it was the sheriff. Sheriff in the movie, okay, and uh, the sheriff was the Indian sheriff. with some guy, you know, that that looked like a sheriff. So, um, this is one of the favorite movie that um, I enjoyed it, but overall. Um, to be honest, I think it's okay. Uh, to be honest, I think, uh, school, I like better. And I know a lot of people didn't like school, but I enjoyed it. And, um, that probably was my, uh, most unpopular opinion. A lot of people didn't like school. And if, if, if I do a top 10 most unpopular movie opinion, I'll put school up there. I like food. Okay? Uh, this, um, you can buy now at, um, you can buy, uh, now at Walmart on DVD, but they're gonna get, you're gonna get like a, a, you know, a general release on October 5th, 2020. Okay? Um, do I hate it? No. Do I like it? Yes. Uh, do I think it's the best Scooby Doo movie ever? One of the best? No. Uh, the way I would describe it is that's an okay Scooby Doo movie that could have been better. And um, I'm gonna give um, Happy Halloween Scooby Doo. Um, a stick. Okay. Um, let's see here. Um, let's see here. I like the cover of the box. Um, I like I like watching another uh, straight to DVD animated DVD movie. Um, I like seeing the game back together. Um, but um, the, I can I can sit here all day and tell you um, 
some some stuff in the movie that I like and some stuff in the movie I didn't like. Okay? And so this is, this is one of those okay scooby the movies. Okay? And um but like I said, even though I thought it was okay, I still enjoyed it when I watched it. Now um um just to let you know um let me let me see here I know that um there there are uh, uh okay uh you got two that came out back in May on video on demand and that they appropriate that 2020 and um but but if you if you want to see this and I would say go to Walmart and buy it because you can you can go to Walmart right now and buy it on DVD and you don't you don't have to wait till October 5th 2020 okay to watch it you can go to Walmart right now and 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 buy it on DVD, okay? That's how, that how I got it, okay? Then, uh, the next Scooby Doo movie after Happy Halloween Scooby Doo is Scooby Doo and King Arthur Court. But it don't have a date yet, so that'd be to be announced. And then, after Scooby Doo and King Arthur Court, it, uh, Scooby Doo and Curry the Cowardly Dog. So, um, I will be definitely excited to see those, and when they come out, I will buy them, and review those for y'all too, as well, okay? Now, even though I thought they were doing an okay Scooby Doo movie, I would say if you're a big Scooby Doo fan, check this out, and... Uh, judge it for yourself. You might like it. You might like it um, more than me, or you might like it less than I did. Okay. Uh, so uh, there you have it. And let me know in the comment section below what some of your favorite uh, Scooby Doo movie and some that you didn't like. And if you're new to my channel, hit the like button, button, and subscribe. Thank you. Thank you.